Hello everybody! This is going to be my first vlog of randomness. Um, what's bothering Gwen, topics, all sorts of different stuff. And depending on how this one does, I may do some more. Who knows? So today, I want to talk to you about something that a lot of people don't like to talk about. But unfortunately, it's part of life. Death! Oh, the irony, right? So today's conversation is burial versus cremation. I'll give you a moment to think about that. Take your time. Dang it. You ready? I did a little research on the topic. Now, burials is something that's very traditional, but let's face it, funerals are for the living. The dead most likely could care less, right? Or as it couldn't care less. Anyway, so I decided to look into it a little bit further because my family already knows my wishes and I wish to be cremated. So let's go over. Burial versus cremation. Got my notes. According to parting.com, get all business like here. Here we go. Average funeral can be between eight to ten thousand dollars I don't know about you but I can't even afford to be dead I'm having a really jacked up hair day average funeral has three you gotta be kidding me Sorry. I know you are average funeral has three key components one. The funeral home. Duh, right? Okay. Average family could spend 6000 That's six with three zeros. $6,000. With this estimate, this is what's included. Casket, $2,300. $2,300. That's a lot of money to be put in a box and stuck in the ground. Maybe it's just me. Hmm. Funeral director basic fee. This is just the basic fee that the funeral director gets. About $1,500. Hey, they got to get paid, right? Then you have your funeral ceremony and the viewing. About $1,000. For people to come look at you dead. After that, you have your miscellaneous hearse, death certificate, obituaries, blah blah blah, all sorts of paperwork, about six hundred dollars. Ah, but now you got the cemetery. Mm hmm. Plot about a thousand dollars. That's kind of reasonable. I mean, considering the price of land, depending on where you are, even if it is a cemetery. Now to dig it can cost anywhere from six hundred to a thousand bucks. They don't hand dig them anymore, mind you. They go out there with a machine and yeah. And let's not forget component three, which is actually part of the whole cemetery thing, is your headstone, which could run you about two thousand dollars. Grave marker about a thousand. It's a lot of money. I mean, don't you think? I don't know about y'all, but I'd rather for my family to, you know, to have a big ass party or something. I was under the impression that in the state of Virginia, that a vault was necessary by law. No, it's not. They have you believing that, because that's an additional few thousand dollars for cement thing to put in the ground. Basically, it's to deter grave robbing. So, grave, grave robbing, grave robbery, robbing, robbing, robber. Anyway, so also be sure that you check with your respective areas to be sure what is required by law and what you can get by with. Now, in Virginia, you don't have to have the vault, but in New Orleans, you may have to have the vault. They're prone to flooding 
I'll let you think about that. <coughs> Need to be the cleanup crew for that one. Okay, carrying on. Cremation. And I got this information from cremationsource.org. Have to get professional again. Cremation can start from $600 to $700. Yeah, it's a little bit more realistic what people can probably pay. It's still expensive for folks that have no insurance or have no means of paying. Don't forget that there's also associated fees with this, okay? So you have to include paperwork, if the body had to be transported, all that good stuff. You, you know, you, you got to include all of this. Direct cremation. Direct cremation is when the body is usually cremated within a few days after death. No viewing, no hoopla, no big deal. That can run you about $1,100. Um, of course, you got your extras. Um, if you want to take the urn and put it in burial in the burial plot, you know some people do that. Okay. You also have uh, art. They got those spheres out now that they can take the ashes and make it into art. There's all sorts of stuff they can do. They got the jewelry, all that good stuff. Also, too, they have these, um, uh, you can be planted as a tree. Uh, I think they got a new thing out now that you can be planted at sea and actually turn into coral, a coral wreath. What? There's also something else I want to talk about, natural burials. And all a natural burial is is that you don't have all this extra stuff, the vault, the embalming. You don't have none of that stuff. What's the use of embalming anyway? Let's think about that. People are like, oh, it preserves the body. No, it just keeps you from stinking until they can get you in the ground. Isn't that nice? But a natural burial is when the body is interned in the ground in a way that does not delay the decomposition. Like they did back in the day. They wrapped you up in the sheet and they stuck you in a hole. I mean, you know, Everything did what it needed to do, and you were topsoil within five years. I mean, if you're going to be buried, you're going to end up being worm food anyway. It's kind of gross, but that's just my personal perspective. Let's touch on a, another option. Becoming a donor. You can actually donate your body to science. However, there is a process in doing that. Aww. They have a protocol, if you will, or an outline of what is and what is not accepted. Sometimes they may be overrun by donors, and they don't need any donors. But, I have a website here, medcure.org, M-E-D-C-U-R-E dot org. If you go on there, they've got all the information and everything that you need to know about donating your body to science. So, I mean, it's a thought. So, there's more options than just being buried in the ground. Let's I mean, think about it. Cemeteries are overrun. They really are. Of course, you got that one guy that had an argument about if you get planted as a tree, that's where haunted forests come from. Hmm. But anyway, in any event, I hope that you found this somewhat entertaining as well as informative. Please leave your comments below, and if you haven't already, subscribe and click on the little bell there so you'll be getting more notifications of when I post my vlogs. Please also keep in mind that my resources will be posted at the end of this vlog so that you can go online and check out things for yourself. Also, please understand that these viewpoints are of mine and not of my team's. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good one.